Welcome back, it's Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my beer tumbler with matching coaster, just in time for Father's Day. So let's get to it. I will be using a white acrylic paint. The alcohol inks I'll be using are a white, teak wood, and sepia. My coaster mold is a 4x4 silicone mold. I purchased that from PDB Blanks. I will also be using the Hog 20 ounce strawbler. I'm just going to briefly kind of show you what this strawbler is. It is just like a regular tumbler, but it has a false bottom. In the false bottom, there is a reusable straw. The straw also houses the cleaning wand for on the go so you can clean it. I also like the fact, because this will be for my father-in-law, he could put his pills in there and he will also have his coffee. So it's kind of like a two-in-one thing. Now I will prep my tumbler, paint it white, and we'll be ready to move on to the next step. I'm gonna take my teak wood and I'm gonna leave probably about a two to three inch gap of white across the top. I'm just going to continue to go around the entire tumbler doing this. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to come back through with our rubbing alcohol and a paper towel and kind of smooth everything out. I'm going to take my paper towel and spritz my rubbing alcohol directly onto the paper towel. And then I'm just gonna come through and kind of wipe everything around. Again, this doesn't need to be perfect. This is just going to be another layer underneath all that epoxy just to kind of give it some dimension. Now I'm going to take my rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna actually just spritz the tumbler and kind of dab it around until I get it the way I like. With Father's Day right around the corner, I've noticed a big increase in tumblers dedicated to dads. So I hope that you guys enjoy making these for your loved one or adding it to your shop for somebody else's father. Now that I have that the way that I like it, I am going to put it on my turner, but with no epoxy. We're going to be applying the epoxy to a dry tumbler. Once I place my dry tumbler onto the turner, I am going to mix up some epoxy. I like to use Alumilite's Amazing Clear Cast, but you can use whatever you have on hand. I use two pumps each of A and B, so that's probably four ounces. I think one pump is one ounce. And I separate it into two separate cups, and I put teak wood into one cup, and now I'm going to put my white alcohol ink and acrylic white into the other cup. I mixed this much because this is going onto our tumbler and it will also be going into our coaster mold when we are done applying it to the tumbler. I mixed those up really well and I'm ready to add the teak wood to the bottom of the tumbler. Yes, that looks green, but trust me, it will be just fine. This is a two-step process that so we're gonna put this layer of the teak wood on the bottom and then we're gonna come back through with the white and we're actually gonna bring that white down halfway down the cup. And we're gonna let that dry for 24 hours and then we'll come back through and do it again. But here I'm just going to continue to show you how I do this first coat. Now that that is on, I'm going to move on to putting the white layer onto the top of the tumbler. Doing these are a little bit messy, but I really love the way these look after they are done. to continue to push that white down into that teak wood, trying not to blend it too much because we're gonna come through and we're gonna also hit it with the heat gun. Now I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to start from the top of the tumbler and work my way down. As you can see here, I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that white and I'm just gonna come through and kind of just add a couple more white patches to some places that I didn't like. Where I get that white about halfway down my tumbler, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna let that dry for 24 hours, and then we'll come back through and get ready to do the second portion of this beer tumbler. Now, with that extra epoxy that I had from doing the tumbler, 
I'm going to add the teak wood mix onto the bottom of the coaster mold and then I will take that white mix that we made and add it to the top of the coaster mold. Now that I have that in my coaster mold, I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to give it just a quick shot of heat off camera. And then I'm going to come back through and just kind of kind of push it around. Now the back is going to look totally different than the front. So you kind of want to kind of dip your, your stick down into it and kind of push everything in. Let that in my tumbler dry for 24 hours and then we'll be ready to move on to the second half. Tumblr is cured and we are going to take another mix of the white alcohol ink with acrylic paint and we're going to add that to the top. Now this time around you don't want to go too far down. You just kind of want to keep it that two inches at the top. I'm just going to continue to do that until I get it the way that I like and then I'm going to come through with my second coat of the brown on the bottom. Now the first time we used teak wood this time I'm going to use sepia for coloring the epoxy. I'm going to apply that sepia mix to the bottom in the same fashion as we did the first time round, but this time I'm going to bring the sepia up further into the white instead of the white further into the brown. Now I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm just going to just give it a couple passes with that heat. I don't want to push it too much. I just want everything to kind of blend together. I just like to take my stick and I just like to come back through and keep blending it just until it gets the way that I like. You don't want to fuss with it too much. It'll kind of do its own thing as it's curing. Now I'm going to let that continue to cure and then we are ready to move on to the final step, which is completing the coaster and completing the tumbler itself. The font I will be using is called Any Mail and I got that off of Defont. I'm using probably about a three and a half by two and a half for the tumbler piece of vinyl and a two and a half by one and a half for the coaster mold. The hardest part is always trying to figure out exactly where I'd like the decal to go, but I think I picked a pretty good spot. I have that on I'm just going to double check and make sure the bottom screw cap still fits nice then I will take the screw cap back off and give it its final coat of epoxy now let's unmold our coaster mold and see how that turned out I really like how this turned out now I'm going to take the name that I want and I'm just gonna place it onto the dark brown portion and we're gonna leave the white open at the top To show you that that straw blur does fit onto this coaster just fine so that way his coaster can be used for his straw blur tumbler or it can be used for a can of beer i mixed up another batch of clear epoxy and i'm just going to take some of that clear epoxy and add some alcohol ink to that mix now taking a very thin stripe of that white you want to apply that white epoxy right on the inside of that coaster and I will come back through with my clear epoxy and I'm going to add that to the coaster as well. You want to make sure that you still leave a little bit of that lip to the coaster. As you can see, I have some clear left over. I will use that to finish up my tumbler. Now I will take my heat gun and I'm just going to lightly hit the coaster with it. I just want to move everything around and blend everything together. You want to make sure that you come back through and wipe all those edges where the epoxy might have spilled over onto the lip. 
You also want to take a torch and come through and just bust any of those bubbles that might be in the clear epoxy. As you can see here, I'm just gonna come through with my stick and I'm just gonna kind of push everything around, make it look nice. You don't wanna come down too far. Whether this is for your father or your husband or you're going to be putting it into your shop, I hope that you have fun making these and I hope they will be a big hit for you as they are for me. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials I have coming your way and I will see you guys next time.